So today is the, uh, the morning after a big night out and we're doing a hike. The rest of the group is still hiking up this mountain. Uh, I hope they make it up here because they have all the food and we're gonna have a picnic up here, but oh, there we go, we got some people. Oh, we got the food. Ah, turn this way. You guys are almost there. So we're lost. <laughs> yeah. we ran out of food and water. <laughs> we, we, we have two of the three maps and we're lost and we have no idea where the rest of the people are, so. So here we are in Spain, uh, Barcelona to be precise, and this is our room. It's really tight quarters for four guys with massive suitcases like the ones you just saw. Uh, my stuff actually, surprisingly, all fits into that uh, that drawer right there. Anyway, the rest of the group right now is out and about and I think I'm gonna take a personal day and just go explore on my own, maybe edit some video and look at some of the photos I've taken so far. But let's see what Barcelona has to offer. Snickers and Kinder. It's delicious. It's a Snickers that tastes exactly like Snickers. That's a tiramisu. It's exactly like tiramisu. Mm, this is amazing. Oh, and it was cheap too. It was like 450 euro. No, not bad. I definitely think that I feel more alone than I expected to feel. That's not necessarily a bad thing, it's just something that I'm experiencing and I don't know if it's the first time I've ever felt it on TV. I definitely have, but this might be the earliest and I think this is probably because this is the most uh, significant age gap of all the trips that I've ever done. Being older by, I think, eight years uh, than the next oldest person. And with the average age being 21, 22, I, I have a lot less in common with a lot of the people that are on this trip. And um, it can definitely be isolating. I mean, I, I love the people on this trip, don't get me wrong, but I definitely think there's a, uh, a bit of a gap that I, I haven't quite figured out how to navigate yet. 
and people are in a very different point in their lives. They're exploring Europe for the very first time, which is really exciting for them. Yeah, so I guess I, I took today as a, as a personal day and I'm just exploring around Barcelona and just taking it all in. I've been here now three times and so uh, I, I'm definitely moving at a different pace than I normally would and that's gonna be the same for the next, next week or so as we retread a lot of the same steps that I've already done. Uh, I also want to rest my voice a little bit. It's really raw from all the drinking and so I don't want to be talking a lot and um, using up more energy and, and dehydrating my voice more than I need to. Wait a minute! I don't know the rest of the words, but you, but you do! My voice hurts your ears. Yeah. But that's, that's my the it hurts my throat. <laughs> that's the sound of a, sound of a good night. All right, well, I'm gonna sign off. We're going to McDonald's. 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 And then we're gonna go to the washroom. And then we're gonna go to the washroom, <laughs> and they're gonna pee in the toilet because <laughs> they're disgusting. And I call it a I call it a washroom. Washroom. And they make fun of me for that. We do because it's funny when you say washroom. That's so cool. I want a video. Of this. So I uh, got a little burnt yesterday. I think these are second degree burns. I guess that should be a lesson to always wear your sunscreen. We were in the sun just as long as what you were. I know, but I'm way whiter than you guys are. <laughs> and then this guy, unfortunately, pretty much missed Barcelona. He was in his room the entire time sick. <laughs> No, Which, man. as you can tell, we're all kind of sick right now. But, uh, yeah, these burns are a bitch, especially carrying a backpack around. Um, yeah, it's a terrible start. But And I also don't need to wear a shirt anymore, because I've got a permanent singlet uh, tan line. So, what a mess. We're now here in Nice, and uh, we got two nights here, so we're going to go get some food. Well, I'm going to get some food. You guys are staying in tonight, I think. No, we got food. Are you getting food, too? Uh, and then we're going to go to bed and explore the city in the morning. Well, I definitely should have paced myself. Here I am in Nice and I feel, <coughs> I feel absolutely terrible. Uh, I've got the Kentucky cough, which, for those who don't know, the Kentucky cough is pretty much inevitable on these trips. One person gets sick and it just spreads throughout the bus. You're in close quarters the entire time, you're on the bus, you're sleeping with uh, two, three, four other people inside dorms, and you get sick. I've been very lucky that I haven't got sick on my most recent trips, but usually I had my own room, so uh, on this particular trip, uh, it hasn't gone so well. I think my body it has been trying to heal from the massive burns I have, which are about second degree burns on my shoulders. And so it rerouted all of its immune fighting ability to uh, my sunburn and let me get sick. Uh, I haven't been sick in the last few years, so I forgot how much this sucks. I'm hoping that this isn't gonna be the normal on this trip. I just gotta be drinking a lot of water, pacing myself better than I have. Uh, well, and by, by that I mean actually start pacing myself. But um, yeah. Nice is beautiful. I forced myself to get up today. I did wake up around noon, did some laundry, and uh, now I've just been exploring the city. So, pretty, pretty beautiful place. Oh, oh, oh.
But I, I can say I'm in the same area as Jerry Jones. Oh, so is it like casino close by here? Yeah, yeah. Oh, I thought it was like another drive though. The whole country's only two square kilometers. Oh, shit. Oh, dude, it's going to be such a quick walk. 20 minutes. Oh, it's fine. That's so easy. And it's like... I walk like two hours to get It's pretty fun. Pretty. I just have to ask you for serious questions. 